Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we're going to explore some sub-asset advanced options. As you know by now, each sub-asset can have different options, different properties for appearance and function. Now the presets are just that. They're simple presets that change the advanced settings. But if you want to modify the advanced settings manually, you can use those to manually dial in position, rotation, scale, and opacity. You can add linear velocity, and make the object move across the screen by adjusting the values here. You can add linear velocity for horizontal and vertical dimensions. You can add angular velocity to make the object rotate. And you can also change the collision type. Using this dropdown, you can choose whether the asset will collide with the character or will not collide with the character. And then you can also choose the destroy type, which is what happens when the character collides with the object. So for a box, we probably don't need the character to destroy anything, so we could leave this set to no destroy. However, if it were an enemy we were working with, we would probably want the enemy to destroy the character when the character touches it. If you wanted the character to be able to destroy the enemy, then you could set this to destroy enemy, so when the character touches the enemy sub-asset, the enemy would be destroyed. Or you could set it to mutual destruction by choosing the destroy all option. So as you're working with sub-assets, remember that the presets allow you to get started quickly by assigning a preset for a sub-asset based on what its main function is. So if it's an enemy, setting it with the enemy preset is a great place to start. But then you can further dial in those properties using the advanced options here. Thanks for watching.